On the 9th of June, Sony announced the WF-1000XM4, which succeeds the WF-1000XM3 as the brand's true wireless offering in its highly acclaimed 1000X line of noise-cancelling headphones. This is Ben Yao from Spotify, and today we are unboxing the WF-1000XM4 from Sony. Taking a look at the WF-1000XM4, one realized that the development team at Sony has gone back to the drawing boards and came back with a product that doesn't bear any resemblance to its predecessors, nor anything that Sony has actually offered in the true wireless space so far. Now let's take a look at the comparison chart which details the differences between the WF-1000XM3 and the WF-1000XM4. Let's begin by looking at the size of the charging case. After all, the earbuds do go into the charging case when you're carrying it. If you're not using it, you will still be carrying the charging case. So the charging case size is rather important here. So if you do your math here, you will notice that the case size of the WF-1000XM4 is a good 56% smaller than that of the WF-1000XM3. Which makes it very interesting, isn't it? Next, let's take a look at the driver unit on the WF-1000XM4. Like the WF-1000XM3, the WF-1000XM4 is equipped with a 6mm dynamic driver. However, the driver that is used on the WF-1000XM4 is a newly designed driver unit which features a 20% increase in magnet volume. What this translates is improved performance in low frequencies and along the same line translates to enhanced noise cancelling due to the fact that it could now generate a high precision cancelling signal at the low frequencies. Making its debut on the WF-1000XM4 is the integrated processor V1 which integrates the HD noise cancelling processor QN1E with the Bluetooth SoC. Sony has implemented an additional Bluetooth codec to the WF-1000XM4. The implementation of LDAC ensures that the WF-1000XM4 is Sony's first true wireless offering to be certified high-res audio wireless. Enhancing usability, Qi technology is implemented to enable wireless charging. At the same time, the WF-1000XM4 also sees the adoption of features such as Speak to Chat, which was made popular by the WH-1000XM4, all of which we will detail in our review shortly. Without further ado, let's begin the unboxing proper. Now let's begin by taking a closer look at the packaging of the WF-1000XM4. One would comment that this is not the usual packaging one would expect from a Sony product. And you're right because the packaging adopts the original blended material developed by Sony. Original blended material is a recyclable, durable and strong paper material that does not use any plastic. An environmentally conscious and sustainable paper material, it is made from bamboo, sugarcane fiber and post-consumer recycled paper whose origin are specified. Sony has adopted this uncolored material for the packaging of the WF-1000XM4, taking advantage of the various shades of the material for the packaging. Now let's begin the unboxing proper by opening up the package. After removing the external sleeve, you'll be greeted with a box which has the 1000X series embossed on the cover of the box. Let me now remove the cover of the box where we'll unveil the WF-1000XM4 which is protected with another layer of paper. But let's just put it aside first and see what else is there in the box so that we can look at it closely together. Let me remove the tray. 
here I believe is the full set of documentation relating to the WF 1000XM4 which we will place aside and below here we will find the USB A to USB C charging cable and of course finally the ear tips for the WF 1000XM4 so these are the S size ear tips and the L size ear tips meaning to say that the M size ear tips are pre-installed on the WF 1000XM4 let me put the packaging aside as you can see it's all original blended paper we are taking out everything from the package and lay out in front of you of course, this is the WF1000XM4, which we're going to defuse shortly. First, let's go through the document holder, which is made of the original blended material. It also acts as a quick start guide for the WF1000XM4. Taking out the documents, you will find, as usual, we have the invite to the 360 Reality Audio um, service. This is uh, music services like Tidal, Cubus, which supports the Sony 360 Reality Audio. This is a free one month trial. A maintenance guide. Operating instructions. And reference guide in the various languages. These are helpful should you encounter any problems with the device and require a quick reference. So always keep them in the document holder or in the box so that you can find them when you need them. Next, I want to spend some time to talk about ear tips. If you were to take out um, the earbuds from the case, you will find the M size ear tips at the earbuds. So this is small, medium, large. With the small and the large in the packaging and the medium pre-installed in the case with the earbuds of the WF1000 M4. Why is this ear tips important? I think one of the key things here is to understand how Sony tries to achieve a better capability in terms of noise cancelling. In this case, they actually leverage on two aspects. One is of course on the integrated processor V1, which sees a whole new algorithm implemented um, on the integrated HD noise cancelling processor which is inside the V1. The other aspect is to improve the seal of the earbuds through the ear tips. So these ear tips are all specially made for the WF 1000 XM4. Last but not least is the USB-A to USB-C cable for charging and you can see the Sony branding here. So now let's take a closer look at the WF1000XM4. Okay, here we have the WF1000XM4. It is actually really small compared to its predecessor, the WF1000XM3. So let's bring in the WF1000XM3 and we can see a direct comparison to see how small WF 1000XM for its
Let's next take a closer look at the earbuds of the WF-1000XM4. So as you can see, this is where the proximity sensor is and these are the charging contact points. This is where the nozzle is and of course you have the Sony branding and the inlet for the microphones. Now let's attempt to pair the WF-1000XM4 with the Xperia 1 Mark II. However, before I begin, allow me to clarify that unlike the WF-1000XM3, the WF-1000XM4 do not support NFC. So in this current pairing, I will attempt to use the Google Fast Pair which Sony implemented in place of NFC. Similarly, Sony has also implemented Microsoft Swift pair for pairing with Windows 10 operating systems. So now let's begin by trying to pair the device on an Android system. Taking out the earbuds, we'll switch on the WF1000XM4, which you see now the Google Fast Pair has very fast and rapidly detected the WF1000XM4. So we click connect and the device is ready to be set up. So let's go into setup. And it is registered onto the Headphones Connect app by Sony. So now we are at the main screen of the Sony Headphones Connect app. As you can see by default, um, the WF1000XM4 is set to AAC. To change that to LDAC, let's go into sound and set it to priority on sound quality. And we click OK. So here you can see that the codec is suddenly missing. This means that the device is already set and reboot and now it's reconnected on LDAC. So that's the end of the introductory pairing of the WF-1000XM4. We have come to the end of the unboxing video. If you enjoyed the insights we have provided, do let us know by hitting the like button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please support us by doing so. Last but not least, hit the notification button so that you will be notified whenever we post a new video. Till the next time, this is Ben Yao signing off.